Hey everyone, welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. When we last left off, we had an unfortunate um, event happen with Cass. Basically, Mr. Gene or John here, whatever his name is, he wanted to meet up with Cass. He did not inform us of the important information that he wanted to kill her. So I was all happy that I got Cass as a companion. I took her to Gene and he just pretty much unceremoniously killed her right in front of us. It was very traumatizing. I was depressed for a little bit, but I think, you know, after doing some soul searching, that I'm over it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, welcome back. Thanks thank you for joining me. We are going to, we are going to continue on with our journey here. The first thing I want to do is I want to talk to Gloria and see what mission that she has for us. And then after we do that mission, I think we'll head over to the strip because we have enough caps to actually uh to actually get in now after doing a bunch of uh side quests. So let's go ahead and talk to Gloria and see what she has in store and uh, go from there. Good, you're here. Do you remember that package I had you deliver? Well, the client liked the sample and put in a massive order. It's possibly the biggest order we've ever supplied. I've had to repeatedly assure my mother that everything will go smoothly. And that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. We'll be bringing an escort and I want you on it. What do you say? Uh, sure, count me in. Perfect. We're still getting everything together, but I can always find a use for idle hands in the meantime. Once we're settled, we'll head out to the rendezvous point. Okay. So we're I guess we're I guess we're just automatically going there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was quick. They're taking an I'm over long and time inspecting the weapons. I'm beginning to think they're doing it just to unnerve us. Don't let them rattle you though. The deal's almost done. There's just one last piece of business left. Speaking of which, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Things are about to get a little crazy. When I give the signal, follow my lead, okay? Okay, um, is anything wrong? Let, fill me in, ma'am, fill me in. I'm, I'm about to do something for you. I need to know what's going on. Not if we don't screw this up. I'm counting on you to do your part. Just wait for the signal. You'll know what to do. Um, okay, let's handle this. Um, can I? I, trust I can't do anything for my pit boy. Everything seems to be in order. Kaisar will not soon forget this. No, I imagine he won't. Oh boy, that's the signal, I guess. Okay, I'm kind of over encumbered here. <laughs> I can't do much of any helping if I can't even move. Um, this is a plasma rifle that I have. Um, geez, why is this, why is this always happening? It's because she gave me this crap that weighs three thousand tons. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean it's pretty good though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. But um, yeah, it's not really helpful if I can't move. Will that help me to sledgehammer? I want to sell that though. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Give me one second while I figure this out. Um, jeez. I probably I probably have to give this back anyway once it's over and done with, right? Right? And it just weighs so much. Maybe I can toss out my no, that's not gonna help either. Let's toss out the sledgehammer. And um let's see I need about ten more. Toss out the sledgehammer and oh, gosh. Laser rifle? 44 plasma rifle uh, Let's say if we have something in here that's weighs like 10 that we can get rid of a Conductor two of them. Okay, whatever. We got rid of two conductors. Okay. Here's the signal. Let's put our weapon up <clears throat> Okay, so they wanted us to do this Okay. Got oh crap. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? There's some stuff in here that we can take. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, that's our guy. I think. Get him though, buddy. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha, buddy. Okay, get this guy. Okay, I can't aim. Here we go. Sneaking up on him. He should be dead. Two shots to the back of the head. Come on. Whoa, don't hit the wrong person. Don't hit the wrong person. Okay, got him. Alright. 
Are there any more? Are we done here? You like that? Why is he looking down? Come on, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think we're done here, guys. You're shooting at the ground. This AI needs to uh, be worked on a little bit here. All right, let's go back to Gloria. Guys, the only reason I'm really doing this is because I'm hoping that Gloria will give us some kind of really good laser weapon or plasma weapon. Um, so that's the reason I'm doing her her side quest. I don't really know what she's going to give us. Gloria. Good job. I need to work out some last minute details with our new clients, but after that we'll head back to the rush. I suppose you have a few questions. Yes, I do. For starters, what just happened in there? Let's start at the beginning. Caesar has been making overtures to prominent suppliers for some time now. Usually, they're too scared of him to cross him and just pay or flee. I saw an opportunity and negotiated a deal with the NCR. I helped draw some of their enemy's troops into a trap, and they agreed to buy from me. Normally, those stuck-up bastards wouldn't have anything to do with us, but their situation is precarious, and this chance was too tempting. Okay, so if you're friends with NCR, then you're cool with me. That's, that's cool. Well, not exactly. The deal wasn't exactly sanctioned by my mother, but she'll come around when she hears about the profit I made. If she's smart, and she is, believe me, she'll turn this to her own advantage and make a bundle off our new connections in the NCR. Okay, um, when you have made just as much dealing with the Legion, what will you do now? It'll be all I can do to supply the NCR with the amount of weapons they want, so I'll be pretty busy for the foreseeable future. Oh, you're probably wondering if you still have a job. I don't have anything open at the moment, sadly. But we're going to need all the help we can get transporting guns to the NCR, so stop by every now and then and I might have a delivery job for you. And before I forget, here's your share of the take from the warehouse job. You can keep the armor. Thanks again for all your help. Okay, I can uh, keep the armor. That's cool. Ooh, 1,000 caps. That is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Plus the armor, even though it is uh, really heavy. Um, that's that's still good, though. That's still good, though. Let's check it out. So we have that armor on. Uh, items, please. So, okay. We, we didn't get a weapon from it, but we did get some, some pretty cool armor. Um, and we saw, <laughs> we're still rocking a space helmet. But uh, that's cool. Let's sell this space suit. Just so that we can uh, get a little bit over My encumbered from over encumbered. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see what you have for sale. Of course. We are going to sell this space suit. There we go. I could sell this and make a killing right about now, but um, we'll keep it. I mean, let's see what kind of weapon she has that I could afford maybe if I sold it. The plasma defender. Ooh, that looks really good. I can. Well, no, I can't afford that now. But if I sold that armor, I definitely could. I definitely could afford it. Um, the tri beam laser rifle. Wow. Hmm. It's very tempting. It's very tempting to keep the armor that I had, and just um. And just buy one of these new weapons. What do you think, guys? Is that is that, is that a pretty good idea? I think it's a pretty good idea. Um, hmm. Hmm, indeed. Oh, gosh. Um, let's see if I can get my, my, get the spacesuit back. Um, because it's only 16 DT. I mean, it probably looks cool. It probably looks really cool. But, I mean, hold on. Let's exit for a second. Let's see how it looks. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's, it's all right. <laughs> the space helmet really sets it off, though. The space helmet really sets it off i think i'm gonna sell it and then just buy it's, it's pretty heavy too i'm gonna sell it and just buy one of these uh one of these weapons that she has my favorite employee returns what can i do for you because i, I kind of i, I kind of want to keep the look that i have going on you know i'm, I'm a spaceman i'm in freeside you know i want the checker guy to just tremble when he sees me in my space suit you know coming to get him so that's that's kind of what I'm going for there. Let's sell that. Uh, oh no, no no no! I can't sell it. Hold on. So if I try to sell it, she doesn't give me anything for it. Wow. 
Well, that's messed up. Okay. So they My favorite they, employee returns. They thought what of everything here. You? They thought of everything of here. So if I sell it, she doesn't give me anything for it. Look at that. Maybe maybe, maybe if I sell it to someone else. So we'll try that. We'll try that. So we're we're done with Gloria. Um we're done with these quests. Yeah. You want something? Yeah, man. Why did you kill um Cass? Can you can you help me out with that? Never mind. Then go bother someone else. Man. Do. Don't talk to me like that, man. I I brought you Cass and you killed her right in front of me. You know, we just met, but she was a, no. We we Cass and I go way back. We didn't just meet, you know. So, don't talk to me like that. Anyway, let's see what's going on outside. Hey, hey how's it going? Okay. Um. So we can officially, I believe, go into the strip now. Let's put. Um. We'll we'll keep this on for now, I guess. Make sure we have a good weapon equipped, and we do. So we can officially go into the strip now. So let's let's uh, maybe we'll try that. Yeah. What did I what did I just do? Uh, I don't know. Let's check out any other quests that we might have before we do that. You can depend on me. Um, that's about the the, the gun runner situation. Uh, I put a spell on you. Okay. The white wash, the white wash. Um, okay, there stands the grass. I have a lot of quests, a lot of quests. Uh, recruiting these prostitutes. GI blues, ring a ding ding. Okay, all right. So let's 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 do ring a ding ding. We can finally get into the strip. So let's just see what's going on over there. Come to the silver rush for all your energy. I do believe it is this way. So let's head on down here. And uh, see what we can get into. Alright. I wish he could run. Can he run? I am running. There is a sprint button, right? I, I, I thought it was a sprint button. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Anyway. We're almost there. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Robot. I have 2,000 caps. Please let me in. Do not kill me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Right. I'll submit to the credit check. Here we go. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Cool. Now, he didn't take my caps, did he? He just, like, checked to make sure I had that amount. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, guys. Coming through. Can I loot this guy? He didn't have anything on him. Okay, that's cool. Um, here we go, guys. We're entering the strip. Oh, wow. Fancy. Fancy music. Live lights here. Look at that. That building is on fire, I guess. It's, oh, hold on. You come for a piece, haven't you? Oh, my God. Welcome to New Vegas. This guy, he just... How, how did he get in? He doesn't have 2,000 caps. Come on. Uh, this place looks up. What are you doing here, first of all? Consider me your personal welcome, wife. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Right, right. Um... Why is a robot passing on his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dog. He'll be waiting. Interesting. Wait, his face just turned. Hold on. Come back here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Hold on. What? Wait a minute. Self-control is a virtue. Oh, what the heck is going on? So he just turned to a security. What the heck? I'm so confused. Is that just part of the game? Because I don't know what just happened there. And these guys are just walking. Okay, these are NCR guys. Okay. Um, that's Gamora. That's the place they've been talking about. 
this is is this just a strip? Don't give us any trouble now. What is she doing? Oh my goodness! You need to, you need to put some clothes on, woman. Hello, hooker. Hey, baby. There's more of this waiting. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. <coughs> Lucky for you. Excuse me. Got what you need. My stock and trade. All kinds of easy to hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Easy to hide weapons? Well, why would I need to hide a weapon on me? Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Hmm. So I don't have any any uh sneak, so I can't even do that. Let's see what you have, I guess. Take a look at these beauties. Um, okay. Weapons. Here he is. He has brass knuckles, knives. Oh, he has a little small silencer pistol. Spike knuckles. Uh I I have a switchblade already, so I really I mean I don't really need anything else if things get too too out of control. I can handle myself with the switchblade. Um, spike knuckles don't really do that much damage anyway. I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay, buddy. But oh, let me see if I can sell this armor to him, and he'll actually give me something worth it. No, he will not. Crap. Okay, that's cool. Ma'am, ma'am, you're you're acting very ridiculous right now. So is is this only the strip? Is there more to the strip than this? Okay. Okay. So there's more to the strip than just uh this part right here. Who's this guy? Traveler. Okay. Hello, ma'am. You look. What is going on with your face right now? About now. Honey, what's your name? Ma'am, I. You're Don't just. Okay. Let Let's see what's over here. All right. It's hard to sleep in this place. I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? Who a are you? Goes to a doctor and says, you, what are you? Doctor, I have, what are you hey, doing? Come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Who are you? The name's Knight, Billy Knight, and this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi! But you're standing on a street corner in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point. How long have you been doing comedy? If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me. First thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Um, so you're looking for your big break. The break's better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Okay, goodbye. Sure, later. Okay, that guy is pretty weird. So there's some, some more stuff going on here. Uh, I'm kind of, this is overwhelming, actually. It's a lot of stuff here. What is this going on? Revolting Cocktail Lounge, hottest tables in town. That's the uh, Lucky 38 place that they said we need to go to. I, I think that's where he said I need to go, right? Um, we have Vault 21 in the Vault 21 Hotel, apparently. Uh, LVB Station. I guess that's a radio station, I guess. There's a lot of stuff over here. I don't know where to start. I probably will just go from building to building trying to find out what's up. Ultra Lux. Um, okay, cool. Is there more to this place? Yes, there is. Oh, my goodness. There's too much, too much going on. Um... This part doesn't look as extravagant as the others. So this is Michelangelo's sign shop. Sign shop. I'm thinking of another game here. <laughs> In Final Fantasy XIV, somebody asked me to find a sign, and I'm like, I'm my brain is going in all different places. Oh, maybe the sign's in the sign shop. Wrong game. Wrong game. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's go back to the strip. Let's 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 stick to the first section of the of the strip. You know that's all we can handle right now, until we can uh, you know process some more. Don't run into the pole there. Strange pole placement. Yeah, that's all we really can handle. You know that's all we really 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 can absorb. At the tops is where we need to go though. 
we'll we'll see what Mr. House wants from us, and then we'll go to the the tops to try to find that guy who tried to murder us. And um, yeah, sounds like good. We'll, we're gonna stay away from Gomorrah. Um, that place does not look like uh, a place of my character. <laughs> a person of my character should go. Yeah, we'll probably go in there later. Anyway, Lucky38, let's talk to Mr. House, see what he wants. That was so weird how his face changed. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're going to have to stay outside. Are you kidding me? No deal. Boss is pretty clear on this. I can't let you in unless you buy your lonesome. Come on, man. All right, whatever. Well, howdy, partner. Whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Victor. I All right, no problem. I head up by myself. Go. Eddie, be safe out here, man. Be safe. It's kind of crazy out here. So, I'll be right back. All right. Hopefully, I still have my weapon on me. Okay. Robots everywhere. So I, I'm so confused, guys. I'm thinking that Victor can just transpond himself onto different robots at will. So like all these other robots that we've been seeing, they're they're probably not even the same robot. They're they're different versions of himself. He's just a program that goes around. I'm starting to I'm starting to realize that. So even if we killed Victor that one time long ago. Um, he would have just came back because it, it doesn't matter what, what body he's in because he's just a program that jumps from robot to robot. Yeah, that's what it is. Hey, Victor. Where to, partner? Penthouse. Penthouse floor. Yeah, sir. You're scaring. Is that. Who is this? Is that. Not, that can't be Mr. House. Who's that? Is that Mr. House? What the heck? Who's this, Jane? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Um, can you t uh, sure. Goodbye. You didn't even... She didn't even. Did I, <laughs> did I make her sad? She didn't even say anything. All right. Anyway, is Mr. House that giant robot projection on the screen, or a giant uh, face on the screen? I can open stuff. He doesn't seem to mind. Scroll on a stick. Sounds very uh appetizing. I'm over encumbered by taking a scroll on the on a stick, man. Come on. I need to sell some things. Sell the spacesuit as soon as I get a chance. Um. Well, I don't really. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um. We'll toss out one of these just, just for now. Until I get a chance to sell something. Okay. So I think Mr. House is that person that we that's on the wall. That's kind of creepy. That's kind of creepy. Wow. Okay. Wow. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Um, I have never seen anything like this place. A city devoted to vice and sin was not to love. I prefer the wasteland, to be honest. Um... I prefer the wasteland, to be honest. There's <laughs> more to see out there and not, and not as uh, overwhelming. You aren't going to ramble on about the virtues of life out in the wastes, are you? It's a desert, you do realize. A radioactive desert where humans subsist in a barbaric state. Difficult to glorify convincingly. They are, however, aptly named. For that's what you'd be out there, wasted. Here on the strip, your talents can be put to use. Okay, what are you talking about? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. 
You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Let's get down. Let's get down to business then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the oh, recovery wow. of okay. the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Um, dang, if I only had enough, uh, barter. Jeez. I have a few questions before I decide. What did you wish to know? Um, how do I get to Benny? What is the platinum chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good <clears throat> things will come your way. Excuse me. Okay, speech. The more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. Yeah, here we go. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Mm, that's 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 all. Okay, I have a right to know much. It's a valuable. Why we use a single carrier to transport it? Transport it. Why don't you send your robots in, in, into the top to arrest Benny? Um. Anyway, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Um. What are your terms again? As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Once you've delivered the chip, I will pay you the amount agreed upon. Okay. Can I say no thanks and then come back? Let's try that. My offer far exceeds the original terms of your contract, which, I will remind you, already obligates you to deliver the chip. Still not interested. Alright, I'll do it. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Um, nope. Until then. Okay. Alright, so... Mr. House, he seems to just be a I don't know if he's just like a he's just like an AI program. Um that's what I'm thinking and he controls all these robots. But they did say that he built the robot. So how how can he build anything when he's just a I don't know. Um let's see how much time we have left. Let's let's go let's go over to the Tops Casino. Oh here oh we have some more kind of robots. These may be the old types cuz they're not they're not functioning. They have a radio. Okay. The man behind the curtain, guys. That's what it is. Um. Where is Jane? I want to talk to Jane. She 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 got kind of sad when I when I when I was talking to her. Well, hello. Okay. Yep. I understand. Um. What kind of robots are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ 88B Mark One Securitron. You silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Um, what's with the snow globe collection? I didn't see any snow globes. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's go. Why did she not say anything? That kind of creeps creeps me out. Um, Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the dates, partner. Plenty fancy. All right, that's cool. Well, let's go to our um, let's go to our suite for a second and see how it looks. I roll suite. Is this it? Open door. Is there three doors to the same place? Okay, this is the bathroom. I guess this is all part of the same place. Activate toilet. Take the plunger. <laughs> I don't want to take the plunger. I'm okay. 
I'm okay. I'm just trying to find out any things I can, uh, today's physician, any things that I can take. Is this all mine? What in the world? Wow. Okay. Where's Eddie, by the way? Is Eddie still waiting outside, man? I don't like that. Hey, there's some terminals. Maybe I can hack them. Nope. They're not on. Not on. Sleep in the bed. Um, there's a computer here. Open this door first. A lot. Okay, so I guess when I, if I have, oh, this is my bed. Okay, cool. So I guess when I have companions, they'll probably, um, what is this? Ooh, this is pretty cool. I'll take this, even though now I'm overweight. <laughs> oh, man, my life. My life of constantly being over encumbered. Dirty pre-war. It's dirty. Ugh. Um, so I need to sell this as soon as I get a chance to. So now we're over encumbered. Let's put this back. I don't want to be over. Oh, I'm already over encumbered. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. You know, I can just switch the time. Let me switch the time. Because I learned that... Um, I learned that the reason I be I'm becoming over encumbered is because I have this perk. The the early bird perk, I think it's called. That I, I, I gain strength in, in other stats when it's daytime. So right now, because it's nighttime, um, I lose that, that gain perk. I think I have negative two strength at night and plus one in the daytime. So that's why I keep becoming over encumbered um that was really like tripping me out why this kept happening so thankfully someone explained it to me i do appreciate that um so now when it becomes daytime i should not be over encumbered anymore yep i'm not you see so that is that what does the terminal do upgrade suite oh you can buy stuff interesting Interesting. Well, I'm trying to buy stuff, but you're not letting me click on anything. Uh, what? You're not letting me click on anything. This says exit. That was weird. Anyway, let's check, let's check out the last room, and then we're going to head over to the tops. Where we can play some pool here. A lot of radios around. Anyway, that's, this is pretty cool. This is ours. That's pretty nice. I don't have a view. I don't have a view of anything. That would have been nice. But, um, hey, you know, it's free. Oh, we gotta talk to Victor about it. Where to, partner? Let's go down to the, uh, the, what is it? Is it the, is it the cocktail lounge? No, it's not the cocktail lounge. Oh, here's a pretty nice view. I mean, the windows are dirty, but, I mean, oh, it's not a nice view at all. <laughs> Let's head down to the casino. That's, that's where we need to be. Uh, casino. I right, just get out of here. Let's head over to the tops really quick, really quickly, and see if we can find uh, Benny. No. Hey, so, you what there. the heck is I have going a message on? For you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. People are just walking up to me left and right, giving me stuff. I don't know what's going on. That's crazy. Now it's raining. Eddie, are you coming? Eddie. Uh, what is it? Follow me. There we go. Okay. Um, let's let's uh let's, let's check this note. Why is everyone? Do you see that guy? They're just staring at me. What is going on? That's kind of weird. Well, let's check this note that we just got that we just received. I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know that the new California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a uh, beneficent, a beneficent, I guess, right? Beneficent mission in the Mojave in general and New Vegas in particular. It is in, in, it is in addition a wealthy nation that, will, that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests. Whether for reasons, whether for reasons for patriotic or material, allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon this misconduct of any sort. 
I stand by ready to receive you at the earliest convenience in my offices in, at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the Vegas Strip. God bless the New California Republic. Okay, so he wants us to meet him. He's at the south side. Okie dokie, we will meet him eventually. Um, let's head over to, what is it now? Tops. There we go. Tops Casino. And try to find uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, what's his name again? Benny. Benny. So I'm guessing we enter here, right? All right. Here we go. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Keep holdout weapons? What does that mean? Okay, keep holdout weapons. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. <clears throat> Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Sure, man. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? <laughs> Where did you take my weapons? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Okay. Um, goodbye. Have a good time, baby. I don't like when people call me baby. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's just me. Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding. I guess that's their slogan. Ring a ding ding. Okay. We need to find Benny. Um, this guy has a name. Hey there, pal. Welcome to the tops. And what can I do for you today? Um, do 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 do. I think you should know something about Benny. Really? You got something to say about the big boss, huh? Well, why don't you say it to his face instead of yapping at me? Where is he? Um. Should I tell this guy? I don't know. I can always reload my game. I don't know. Huh? What are you talking about? Bean tried to kill me and stole a platinum chip I was hired to deliver. That doesn't... Why would he pull a stunt like that? Got anything else to offer? He tried to make it look like an accident. Just a traveler killed and robbed in the wasteland. He's trying to pull a fast one on the big man. Crazy bastard. You got any more? Um. I've got more evidence that proves Benny tried to kill me. Yeah? What else you got? I found this lighter in Boulder City. He dropped it when he killed his partners. Yeah, that looks like Benny's lighter, all right. Still, not exactly a ton of proof. Got anything else, kid? That's it. What do you think? Jesus, kid. I think we got a real problem on our hands. Can't believe Benny's a no good stinking punk trying to play house like that. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key, it's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors, can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. Okay, I'll do it. Groovy, here's your stuff back. In case you run into company, you dig. I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Go on then, elevators to pass the slot machines on your left. Cool, cool. Well, that was easy. That was easy, guys. Well, I think we're going to end the video here. Um, when we return next, we're going to head up to Benny's suite and see what we can find. Um, hopefully, we find... Why is that light disappearing? That is so weird. Hopefully, we can find out what we need. Maybe the platinum chip is in there. Or maybe we need to kill Benny to get the chip. Who knows? But we will return next time and try to find and try to figure that out. Thank you guys for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you have not. Share the video out if you also enjoyed it. And I will see you guys when we return next time. Take care.